Hi, my name's Jen. I'm the programme lead for the policing courses and I'm also the programme lead for criminology with policing. I am a chartered psychologist, I am a senior fellow of the Higher Education Academy and I have also worked as a police constable on the front line in North London. So on the policing course, essentially you have a really interesting mix of operational and academic modules. Um, so the idea is that when you finish, you have all the knowledge from the relevant subject areas that you need to make you the best police officer that you can be. So we've got a module on criminology, crime prevention and key psychological principles. Um, we've got operational modules on uh, response policing, community policing, police investigation. And of course, you also have the law based modules where you learn about police powers um, and where you learn about the criminal justice system. So that gives you a really interesting mix of all the relevant disciplines um, to turn you into a really good police officer. So I've designed a number of modules on the policing degree um, and one module that I'm particularly passionate about is an optional module in forensic psychology. So this is one of our most popular option choices. In that module, we're looking at number one, um, the distinction and history of criminal psychology, investigative psychology and forensic psychology. We look at obviously the relevant theories, um, how they're used by practitioners. And we also look at eyewitness testimony, jury decision making. We look at um, why might someone confess to a crime that they have not committed, deception detection, behavioural investigative advice, which is the proper term for profiling. We're going to talk about serial murder and we're also going to look at the psychology of hostage negotiation, the difference between crisis negotiation and hostage negotiation, Stockholm Syndrome, and we're also going to look at the prison system. The forensic psychology module is an optional module, um, so police officers are not forensic psychologists, but we find in terms of our students doing an undergraduate degree that they often have an interest in this area. And we have had students on the policing course um, who went on to do masters in psychology and related subjects. It is an intrinsically interesting topic because you're looking at why does someone do the things that they do? What are the different factors and variables that influence our behaviour? But if you know what the baselines of behaviour are, that can inform your decision making and help you make the best possible decision based on the information that you have at the time.